it is important for us to understand that the transatlantic slave trade and its history is something that we as Africans must remember forever. Not because we want to continue to dwell in this sad story, but because so that we don't forget, we have to tell our children our story so that generations to come will organize our society. At times, I wish we could go back 1,000 years back, how we used to live, because there were no beggars in Africa, especially where we are from, in West Africa, there were no beggars, because everyone worked the land. We farm, we fish, we do many things, and we are not hungry. We are not, we, we were not hungry. We, we, we know who we are, and it was, it was a shameful act to beg. That is why I'm interested in us making further research, documenting who we are as a people, so that our children will know who we are, and a generation will come that will reorganize us and will continue to be who we are. And some of the problems we have in Africa today are not from within, they are from outside. We need to recognize that. They said we sold each other. I'm not from that school of thought. But oh, you see, something happened. Something led to something. There were wars. And of course, usually they will be victim of wars. Exactly. And the victim of wars, some of them were sold, which is true. But there was need for people to work on the land in the Americas, in the Caribbean islands. And a people came and they were they came with guns. With cannon guns, they came with bottle with gin, they came with all manner of things to entice us, and they gave us guns to fight each other because they have need for people to go and work on the plantations in the Americas. Some of the African chiefs, I'm not siding them, but some of them don't even know what those they were taking away were used for. Before the Europeans ever left Europe, they knew what they were coming for. They knew it. How do I know? When they came, they came with slaving instruments. Some of the slaving instruments you see here in Badagri were not produced here in Africa. They were brought, so the Europeans came with it. The Europeans understood the Arabs. The Arabs were in Africa for about 1,000, they are still here anyway. But the slave, the trans saharan slave trade lasted for about 1,400 years or more. Now, the Europeans were here, they say between 300 and 400 years. Imagine a continent that was destabilized for about 2,000 years. What Africans went through, what we, what we experienced, no continent could have gone through all that still and still be standing today. Mm. That is why when I tell people, I say, I'm proud to be an African. I'm mm. proud to be a black man. Mm. Imagine a continent that was destabilized for about 2,000 years. The Arabs were here, the Europeans were here, here, and they... Even now, they refuse to leave. But there is hope for us. What is the hope? For us to continue to share our history among ourselves, for us to continue to tell our story so that we learn from the mistakes of the past. The transatlantic slave trade is one history that we will never forget.